Um, right. Hello, I'm back once again with a player review. Today we're going to review Chris Boyd. 50 pace, 64 dribbling, 72 shooting, 72 physical, 58 passing, and who cares what his defender is because it's only 22. 6 foot tall, he's got that 4 star weak foot. Bought for 250 coins. 22 games played for my club, 18 goals scored, and I, I didn't care what happened to four games, he, he didn't really do anything in. Because um, this guy is the best striker I've used this year. James, a word on Chris Boyd? There you go, you, you've heard that from the man himself. So I'm going to go into a game. We're going to play James, because he's a decent player, he's not going to let Boyd run him over or anything like that. Could be a tough game. I'll edit that bit out with my record. Right, here we go with the invite. Now, Chris Boyd, you know, you can see he's fairly cheap, but I think he's kind of extinct from the market because when you pack Chris Boyd, you, the first thing you think is that how much can I quick sell this guy for? Not how much does he auction for? You know, I think it's the pace that puts people off, but let me tell you. He is one of the best players I've used. One of the best. I mean, he's up there with Hutton here. He is up there. What, oh, James? Oh, no. I thought he was making tactical changes there. Right, oh, James hasn't got a bad squad. What a squad. Is that Kirk Broadfoot? It's Kirk Broadfoot and Grant Hanley. Can't go wrong with a bit of Broadfoot. Alright. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've always got, got brown nasty. Alright, the first thing the first point I want to make about Scott Brown is he, he doesn't move, alright? He's got no pace, you can tell that only an adept would try and play this guy in a counter attacking team, so if you play counter attack football, this guy's not for you. Oh, here he's in. His finesse shot surely gonna. Oh, that, that came off the defender. Uh, I just the second point I was gonna make was um, Chris Boyd's finesse shot, second to none. I've actually never hit a better finesse shot with another player. Never used a, a player with a better finesse shot than Scott. Uh, what? Who am I even reviewing? Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd. I mean, this is Scott Brown. Here he goes. It's a good dive. Oh, it's, it's not paid off this time. And he's been he's been injured. This isn't a very good player review, is it? Peter Pollock's away. Peter Pollock looking to cut it back to Boyd. Boyd! Boyd! Oh, he got the fake shot in. He got the fake shot in with three star skills. Uh, big ball up. Boyd in there. Look at that. Perfect. Beating that much bigger centre back to the ball. Oh, look at this. Boyd. Oh, what a ball. Chris Boyd. Is he there for the return? He is! Boy! Oh! He's hit the post! That is desperately unlucky. <laughs> From the kill man. Ah, Rob Hodson at work there. Oh, take that boy. Oh, that, was, that wasn't even for him. That's it, use his strength. Use his strength. Oh, he's, oh, he's done them. Boy! Oh! Good dribbling, boy. Good dribbling. It's like when you use a bronze player, a bronze team, you know, and you come up against a gold team, you win. Because like your players take big mongo touches, no one knows where they're gonna go. So you end up getting lucky and win. That's what boys like. I honestly don't care how I've scored 18 goals of that account. Boys, he's away. Oh he's done him. Oh he's done him. Oh he actually has to. Oh boy. Yes! That's his action for Essa Chris boy. Look, his celebrations are even top class. Brilliant. Classic celebration. Now, see see the movement from Boyd here to lose the defender and get the shot away. That's what it's all about. Look at this, swerving in and out. Holds the ball off, three <laughs> challenges there. And then finds the spot, the keeper can he save it. Oh, I think James is going to quit because he knows that that's just it. His life's finished. It is indeed. Can he fish continue to spot? Ah, he's brought on Lorente. 
but we're not, we're not here to talk about Lorente, especially when he's getting tackled like that. Oh. Uh, where have I got? Is it Ryan Fraser? Oh no. No Chris again. Not Chris again! That's two. Chris Boyd. Listen guys, you have to, have to get on in this boy. Have to get on in this. I told you, finesse shot second to none. He's brilliant. Look at his movement. He might not be fast, but he knows where the space is. I don't know how this player is 69 rated. This is shocking. It's only because he's in Scottish football and it's, uh, it's uh, SFA bias. Police Scotland. Racism against Rangers. Chip that into Big Matty Phillips. That's a brilliant ball to Scott Brown. There, Chris Boyd getting featured by um, Alan and Martin. That's how good he is. You know, 250 coins, you can't go wrong. He's a solid player. For a, you know, I reckon you have to, you have to want to, want to succeed them. Otherwise, you just get fed up with him, not, not doing anything. But you know, you stick with him and look at the results. I've managed to get him, no chance. Oh, I was going to hit that in the volley. Is that my free kick? Oh, it isn't. Oh, no. Let's see, Chris Boy's free kick. 82 power, 66 accuracy. Right, let's see if we can drop this in. Oh, it comes, comes very close there. As it lagged out, but you could see how good a free kick that was. It's a brilliant save by the keeper. So Chris Boyd, although his stats look a bit crap, you know, you can hit a good free kick on if you, if you're good enough. No chance. And it's a four. That's a finesse shot. Chris Boyd doesn't have which foot. He'll score it. I don't recommend trying long shots with him. And I'll try and get a couple off, but he's just not had the space to do it. And, you know. But once this guy gets in the penalty box, that's it. It's all over. His heading's not bad either. But, obviously, I'll, I'll try and get a few crosses in. That was too easy. Oh, it's all right, Ryan Fraser's got it. And he... Oh no, boy! <laughs> boy just tried to get out of the way, so um, Paul could have a shot. So he's he's selfless. Very, very, very forgiving player. You know, I mean, big Paul's been playing horrid all game, but he's, he's still letting him have his chances. Save. Amazing player. Look at Boyd, just look at the hold up play on that. Fantastic, look. One minute it was just him up here, now he's got his pals all up with him too. Oh no, who's putting that in? Leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh. That's it, that concludes my review of Chris Boyd. There he was collecting the, the ball. Seven shots, three goals. Not a bad conversion rate. He got three goals, that's... Marshall better than that's that's decent. Decent. Uh, No, Nine Chris Boyd a big man of that. 9.9 for David Marshall. That's because that penalty save at the end. 9.7 for Chris Boyd. Dan Flick for two assists. Hey, Chris Boyd never missed a shot. He missed one pass. His dribbling isn't great, you know. We knew that though. So, yeah. Overall, I'd give Chris Boyd That game he obviously played a 9.7. Overall as a striker, I give him a 6.7. Depending <coughs> on your opponent's level and everything. Because you know, once he gets in the box, he's he's class. But he just can't cut it against the big teams normally. I don't know what happened to James that game. But yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>